Hi, good morning children. How are you? I hope you are all fine. Welcome to Nirbhaya High School, Padmanaga Phase 2, Chintan. Digital Learning Classes to understand the subject easily. I am your English teacher, Astralakshmi Ma'am. Children, have you seen the video? I hope everyone has seen the video. And I want to ask you, everyone are listening to your parents' words? I hope everyone are listening to your parents' words. Yes, children. Yes, don't go out. Be safe in your homes only. Yes? Yes. Now, till yesterday, what we have learned? We have completed our grammar part. Yes, children. Module 9, grammar part. What is there in the grammar? About adverb of manner. Adverb means what? Yes, adverb means? Yes. It tells how, when, where the action is done. Okay, how the action is done. When the action is done. Where the action is done. Yes, you learn. And we have learned a kind of manner. Kind of adverb is? Adverb of manner. Adverb of manner answers the question how. Answers the question how. Yes, you learn. Now, today is our session is about formal writing. In formal writing, we are going to learn about friendly letter. Already we have learned about friendly letter. Yes, children. Now see here. Friendly letter. Write a letter to your friend describing a scary dream. Also called a nightmare that you have. Here see children. First, what is a friendly letter? See, we have learned already we have learned this formal letter and informal letter. Formal letter means what? We are writing to our yes, the unknown person or we are, who is not close to us. That is formal letter. Means to the teacher, principal, uh, secretary, manager, like this. And informal letter is to our relatives who are closest to us, who are close to us. Yes, children. Now, here friendly letter. First, how to write a letter? I will explain you. First, what you should write? Sender's address, receiver's address. Yes, children. Sender's address, receiver's address, date, greeting. Means salutation. Good dear friend. How are you? That or dear friend or friend name. Anything you will write note like this. After that body part. In the body part we have three parts. Introduction. Body. Conclusion. Introduction. Body. Conclusion. Introduction means you are introducing yourself. How are you? I am fine. How are your parents? That all this is called under introduction. Body part. Why you have written a letter? Detailed information. Conclusion. You can tell with love. Means what you will tell? I say your parents. I asked you. Or tell your parents to bless me. This all comes under a conclusion part. Last part is that. Again here it comes greetings. Here what it is? You, can, you should write here. With love. Your name. Yes. This is about your friendly letter this is the pattern of your friendly letter okay children here what they have given to write you should write a letter describing a scary dream nightmare in the night when you are sleeping no that time you got a scary dream and your friend also is there in that nightmare okay you should write a letter now what you should include this see the hints here when did you have the scary dream you should write what was it about what happens in the dream who did you see in the nightmare how did you feel when you woke up? Understood children? These points you should use and you should write a letter. Understood? Everyone will write a letter children. I hope everyone will write a letter. And now see here about the creative writing. See here children creative writing. What is the topic here? Write a rhyme. Rhyme means you know children in the nursery LKG UKG you will be learning a rhyme. Like this, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, will be like, learning a rhyme, no, you have learned, I think. Yes, so many children will sing, what it is, tell me any one rhyme you can sing, no? Yes, so many children will have rhyme. First, uh, we will call the children and we will say, say uh, tell the rhyme means what they will tell, they will tell the rhyme of twinkle, twinkle, little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you were. Up above there was so high. Like a diamond in the sky. They will be telling like this. Right? Yes. And the rhyme. Johnny, Johnny. Yes, Papa. Eating sugar. No, Papa. Telling lies. No, Papa. Open your mouth. Ha, ha, ha. Like this you will be telling a rhyme. Yes, children. Yes. See. Now, now also you will call any child and tell. Make them to tell the rhyme means they will be telling like this. Or they'll be telling this rhyme also. Listen to the music. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Listen to the music and clap your hands. 
this song they will be singing yes this is a rhyme here see children now in the rhyme we will be having this is a rhyme normal rhyme okay whatever the children will say this is a rhyme rhymes means you will all get an idea about this yes children now we are having another than the rhyme poem is also there yes children poem is also there what are the poem or what is the rhyme we will see now see here you read the words which are there here sentence stress that are in gold play way dish vanish double trouble double trouble beneath teeth beneath teeth now see the end sound in the given words are pairs are either similar or the same words here that have the same ending sounds are called rhyming words here see children rhyming words rhymes came to the rhyming word rhyme means what i will tell first everyone see here I will sing it. Do it. Tell a rhyme means what they will tell. This rhyme song. Now what I sang. That rhyme song we will tell. No. Now see here. The rhyming words. Rhyming words means what? Here the rhyming words are. The sound will be same. The sound. The end sound of a word will be same. For the two words. The end sound of a word will be same. That are called as rhyming words. Now by seeing the pictures we can tell. Moon. Spoon. By seeing the pictures. See children. Moon. Spoon, moon, spoon. Yes, like this we can by seeing the picture also we can tell these are the rhyming words. Okay, here see, friend, send, said, bed, money, brain, money, brain. See how money, brain is there. It's different. Motion, mohisin, friend, kirti, send. See children, mo mohisin says friend, kirti says send, said, bed. Here mohisin says money, kirti says brain. It is anything is here same words are they spoke? No, they are not rhyme. They will not rhyme. Okay. Now here game over says motion. See here meet motion and Kriti. They are playing a game. Motion says some words to which Kriti answers with rhyming word. The game ends when Kriti says a word that does not rhyme with motion's words. You also can play like this. Yes, children. You and your friend. Now you will tell one word means the other friend also should tell the another word. But the rhyming should be same. Here Kirti saw motion said money. But Kirti said brain. Here they are not math rhyming words. Yes, children. Now see. Game. Now the game is over. To find out if words rhyme, read out the words and listen carefully. If they sound the same or similar, that they are rhyme. Some words that rhyme with float are boat, coat and goat. If the words sound different, they do not rhyme. House and place, they do not rhyme. Yes, children. Now here, what is the rhyme here? Not the rhyme, children. Rhyme means the sound. Rhyme means the sound. The end sound of a verse are same. Then it is called as rhyming words. Okay, children. Before, why I said that all rhymes? Whenever we will tell rhyme, means you all will thinking about that twinkle, twinkle, Johnny, Johnny. So, no. Here the rhyme means what? The words which end with the same sound. The words which end with the same sound. See, uh, identify the rhymes. Rhyming words in the line given below. Underline them with the, some colors. You can write. I am a little spider. Yes. Watch me spin. If you will be my dinner. I, I will let you come in. You can see here. Spider. Dinner. Spin. In. Then I will spin my web to hold you tight. And gobble you up in one big bite. Tight. Bite. Web. Up. Yes, children. Yes, you should do that. Now, see what is your exercise 5. Write a poem of two lines on any topic using the given hints. What is the poem about? Write a few words that you can add to the poem. Write down the some rhyming words that can be used. Example, I see shell on the seashore. I have five, but I want more. You can write here anyone. You can choose any one topic and you can write a poem, children. Rhyming. Okay, any poem, write a poem of two lines. See here children, rhyme is different and poem is different. In the rhyme, we will not find a same rhyming words. In the poem, we will find a rhyming words. Understood children? In some rhymes only we can find a rhyming word. But all the rhymes will not, we, will, we can't find a 
rhyming words. But in the poem, we can find a rhyming word. Understood, children? Here, see, you should write your poem below. Draw a picture related to your poem as well. You should draw a picture also. You should write a rhyme poem also. And your hint also, you should write, see. What is the poem about? Write a few words that you can add to the poem. Write down some rhyming words. Write on some rhyming words that can be used. Understood, children? You should write now. I will show you a sample one. You can write your own, children. Okay. Now, everyone open your books and write it out. See here, children, you can write any address here. Okay, your friend's address. Now, you are writing, when you are writing the letter, that date you should write. 7th December 2020. You should write here, Dear Amit. Here, you can write your friend name also. Okay. How are you? I have something to tell you. Because... You love ghost stories. I saw a nightmare two days ago. A very scary one. You were in it too. Yes, children, we are writing exercise 4. You remember now exercise 4? See here. Write a letter to your friend describing a scary dream. Also called a nightmare that you have. Okay, now see. Hints. When did you have the scary dream? What was it about? What happened in the dream? Who did you see in your nightmare? How did you feel when you woke up? Now you should write the address, date. Okay, 7th December 2020, your wish. When you are writing a letter, that date you should write. Now, dear Amit, first we should ask, how are you? I have something to tell you because you love ghost stories. You love ghost stories. I saw a nightmare two days ago, a very scary one. You were in it too. You were in it too. Once again, I'm reading children. Dear Amit, how are you? I have something to tell you because you love ghost stories. I saw a nightmare two days ago. A very scary one. You were in it too. After that, both of us were riding our bicycle and we reached an old house. It looked haunted. Both of us were riding our bicycle and we reached an old house. It looked haunted. Haunted means by seeing only we, can, we will feel scared. But you wanted to go inside. The door was creaky and the windows were broken. But you wanted to go inside. The door was creaky and the windows were broken. When we entered there was a loud when we entered, there was a loud hoot. The hoot made me wake up from the nightmare. I then heard the watchman whistle outside my house. I was happy that I was in my bed and not in the haunted house. Do you have such nightmares or other dreams? Share them with me if you do. Your friend, your name you should write. Understood, children? Once again, I am telling you, see, how are you, Amit? How are you? I have something to tell you because you love ghost stories. I saw a nightmare two days ago, a very scary one. You were in it too. Both of us were riding our bicycle and we reached an old house. It looked haunted, but you wanted to go inside. The door was creaky and the windows were, and the windows were broken. When we entered, there was a loud hoot. The hood made me wake up from the nightmare. I then heard the watchman whistle outside my house. I was happy that I was in my bed and not in the haunted house. Do you have such nightmares or other dreams? Share them with me if you do. Your friend, your name. Okay, children. This is about your exercise 4. Now see exercise 5, children. Write a poem of two lines on any topic using the given hints. What is the poem about? Now we are going to write a poem about dog, okay? The poem is about a pet dog. Write a few words that you can add to the poem. Kick, lick, face, kick, the ball, chase, shoe, happy. Write down the some rhyming words that can be used. Kick, lick, pick, rick, sick, ball, hall, call. These are the rhyming words we can use in that. Okay, children. Now we are going to write a poem. Here, write your poem below. Draw a picture related to your poem. You only draw your picture. Okay, children? Means a dog picture you draw it. Okay. Now see. I love my dog Rick. My, fa my face he likes to lick. Makes my sadness go away. Round and round with ball, me ball we play. See, once again I'm reading. I love my dog Rick. My face he likes to lick. 
makes my sadness go away. Round and round with ball we play. I love my dog Rick. My face he likes to lick. Makes my sadness go away. Round and round with the ball we play. Here Rick, lick are the rhyming words. Away, play are the rhyming words. Understood children? This is about your poem. You can write your own poem also. Understood everyone? And draw the dog drawing down. Because it is a, a pet dog. No, write a dog drawing. Finished. By this we have completed our formal writing and creative writing. Understood children? Yes. Complete the workbook.